So I just need to turn off the electric fan. Otherwise, you can't hear me. <clears throat> it's really hot at the moment. It's like six o'clock in the evening and it's still like 38 degrees. A warm welcome to the channel. Yeah, I am a little bit upset and the reason why I'm upset is I've been posting videos on YouTube for about five years and when I started talking about the free gorgeous dam in 2020, wow, <clears throat> I was <laughs> earning like 3,000 American dollars per month and just moving on from that and keeping in about China, my views have dropped to maybe 30 views per hour. And I do quite a lot of videos. So I'm just a little bit annoyed. And when I watch and see other people's channels grow, when they maliciously spread lies and propaganda about the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party of China, and doing this on a Western media platform, it sort of upsets me where I just speak the truth. And sometimes I was thinking, oh, why don't I just make up another channel and just be another CCP shield lying about it, getting lots of views about it and getting the Chinese bots to actually click so I get a higher uh, view rate, etc., etc. It's just something that sort of ticks me off, that you put in all the hard work, you follow all the algorithms, you follow all the quotes which people recommend you to do and you do, and absolutely zero happens. So... I think I'm going to take a week off from YouTube and just reevaluate and just take some time and maybe just cut down the amount of videos that I do, maybe like one, two, three per week, but possibly longer and see what happens with that. And then maybe just have a title like China news from this week or Newsnight China, for example. I don't know. This is all the thoughts going through my head. So this is just sort of like an update to tell you what's happening on my channel. Many thanks to all, all these subscribers. I've got loads of new subscribers. My audience um, platform is now India is my highest, followed by America, followed by Canada, followed by the UK and the Philippines. My audience ranges from 25 or all the way to about 85 now which is good but I seem to get a lot less views related to the shorts or the 30 second videos I made uh, YouTube advised me not to do that and they even gave me one copyright strike so that's going to be just numbed on the head so I'm just sort of like annoyed it, that is the sort of uh, word to put very politely and just uh, I'm in a conundrum what to do do I just sort of like give up but I'm a person who doesn't give up YouTube is a hobby for me and it was great when it was working really well and a lot of good comments and um, saying many thank yous and people supported me through super thanks and becoming a member and the Patreon I did have one new Patreon uh, member so thank you very much for that but it's just sort of when you tell the truth and you're honest and giving you this is the opinion of this and many people disagree that's okay it, everyone has their own opinion uh, but <clears throat> then you sort of get oh blacklisted because you get so many thumbs down but some people say that your thumbs down also is as equal as a thumbs up is people are noticing and they'll watch you again even though they dislike you so this is sort of like my omission and I know some people who may follow me uh, because I may um, criticize them in a correct way and a polite way um, will be going, ha ha ha, you failed. Well, I'm not a person who gives up. Yeah, I am stubborn. And in that way, I think I just reevaluate. Uh, but I just in that kind of mind at the moment to say, oh, What's the point, you know? I've got so many things that I want to do on YouTube, especially like related to travel while I still can, showing you some interesting places to do so. But I need the cash and the support to get there. And the idea is that if I got lots of views and I got, you know, like one, two, three thousand a month, I could reinvest that money into YouTube and go to these destinations and show people different parts of Thailand, here, Cambodia, maybe Vietnam, mainly in Southeast Asia. 
and show you what it's really like, the good side, the bad side, the ugly side, like the good, the bad and the ugly. So if you have any ideas, if you have any suggestions, if you have any points of view, um, I like a lot of YouTubers, you have to be thick skinned because I do get people saying you know nothing about the Xiaomi SU or Su7 and you should stick to things about your own country etc don't criticize china it's like the utopia it's the best country in the world but when you see the evidence and when you speak to people in china and they allow you the permission to put their voice but not their face on film as and you're just showing what china is really like in some cases or another there was one guy on YouTube, for example, saying that the lady who went over to go and see the uh, politicians in Beijing is begging China to ask for money, uh, but with no evidence. But guess what? He's going to get a couple of thousand views over that claim with no evidence. But I'm, I think I'm just too honest for it. I, I could easily do it, but it's that consciousness related to it. So the answer is no. And I will keep going. Maybe I'm just making this video to convince myself related to it. And what do you think? So comments below would really help me, encourage me to continue. But I don't think I'm going to be so fanatical about making a video every single day. I think I'll just cut it down to like three times a week. So let's leave it there for today. And I'm just going to have a nice, enjoyable evening. The temperature here is... Whew, incredibly hot. I need to have a fan and the air conditioning on to keep cool. It's like one of the hottest summers here in Cambodia at the moment. Hopefully next month is May and we may get some rain and hopefully it possibly will cool down by one or two degrees, but I doubt it very much. Just have to wait till June. God bless to all. Thank you so much for everyone, subscribers, sharers, financial supporters, for helping me with this channel and helping it grow. It's just in a stagnation at the moment and I want to get it out of this stagnation. And so um, to get you out of this stagnation and start to get um, the viewers back again. I'm not going to talk about the YouTube algorithm, et cetera, et cetera. I follow every piece of advice to the letter, but at the moment it's just not working for me. Maybe it's just my time to have a bad couple of months with not so many views. And at the moment, I will be honest, if I'm lucky on YouTube, if I am lucky on YouTube, I will get maybe just about a hundred dollars out of the uh, adverts or the revenue from the advertising, etc., which is a big difference from way back in 2020. So a top tip for anyone doing YouTube, before you take it as a career, I would say at least have 100,000 subscribers in your bank account there and to have a sort of stable account that gives you, let's say, two, three, four thousand per month on average. Then think about as a, a career path, possibly. But if it's up and down like mine with a yo-yo where sometimes it's fantastic and now it's absolutely diabolical, then treat it as what I do as a hobby. You're going to have the downsides, which I'm having like now, but you're also going to have the upsides as well. Let's leave it there. I will say bye-bye. Million things to do, like sit in front of the TV and enjoy a nice, hot, stinky, balmy summer's evening. Bye-bye for now.